Drew on General Hospital had a confusing life and an unfortunate death, but we'll try to clear things up for you. The character technically first appeared back in October of 2014, played by actor Billy Miller, although for the first three years Drew thought he was actually Jason Morgan. Which is why in flashbacks, Steve Burton played Drew since they used to have the same face. Also, Asher McDonald played Drew in a scene from his childhood. Unfortunately, in July 2019, the actor broke fans' hearts by announcing his departure from GH. But this wasn't the end of his story because in August 2021, Cameron Matheson revealed that his mysterious new role on the soap was actually going to be Drew. Who are Drew's parents? Drew and his twin brother, Jason, were born to Susan Moore after her affair with Alan Quartermain. When Susan was pregnant, she fled Port Charles and stayed with her cousin, Heather Weber, in New York City, fearing Alan would drag her back home to raise their child. When Heather brought nurse Betsy Frank in, they learned that Susan was having twins. Heather suggested that since Alan didn't know they were having twins, Susan could return to Port Charles with Jason and leave Drew with Betsy. Then, after Alan took custody of one child, Susan could return to the other. Franco thought he and Jason were brothers until he found out he was just raised with Drew. XJ Johnson slash JPistudios.com How are Drew and Franco connected? Susan died tragically, and Heather never returned, so Betsy raised Drew alongside Heather's son, Bobby, who later became known as Franco Baldwin. She claimed the two were as close as brothers could be until Drew died of a heart defect. However, when an adult Franco confronted Betsy, she confessed that Drew hadn't died, and she was forced to give him away after Franco had pushed him down a flight of stairs when they were three. Later, it was revealed that Franco had been molested by Jim Harvey and when a confrontation as adults led to Jim attempting to kill Franco, Drew shot the monster dead. Later, the two men became even closer when Franco was temporarily implanted with Drew's stolen memories. Why is Drew's last name Kane? Drew grew up in an orphanage, and later became a Navy SEAL who was stationed in San Diego, California. But while his name was Andrew Kane, it was never revealed who his adopted parents were who gave him that name. If, in fact, that's where he got the last name of Kane in the first place. That's one mystery that was never solved. Drew was surprised to learn he has a teenage son. Christ slash jbistudios.com Who are Drew's children? While he was a Navy SEAL, Drew had a fling with Drive. Kim Nero, and while brief, it was passionate enough that she gave birth to his son, Oscar Nero. He also has a daughter, Scout, with Sam McCall, from the time they were married and everyone believed him to be Jason. Why didn't Drew want his memories back? When Drew was found on the side of the road, his face was badly injured and he required reconstructive surgery. While he initially suffered from amnesia, he soon began to recall memories of being Jason Morgan and living in Port Charles. So everyone in town believed that he was Jason back from the dead. That is, until the real Jason returned from the dead having been kept prisoner in a Russian clinic for many years. I know what you're thinking. XJ Johnson slash JPistudios.com It was then revealed that Drive, Adramatix had developed a procedure for copying memories and transferring them that he had hoped to use on his ailing wife and other Alzheimer's sufferers. His technology was used to steal Jason's memories and implant them into Drew. The flash drive containing Drew's memories finally surfaced, but once given the opportunity to restore his past, 
Drew chose not to, afraid that the procedure would erase the memories he'd created during his time in Port Charles. Knowing he wasn't Jason allowed Drew to forge his own life, but it also meant the end of his relationship with Sam, who he let return to Jason. Drew continued to rely on his friendship with Curtis and running Aurora Media. He grew closer to Kim as they bonded over Oscar's terminal illness and they shared a kiss on New Year's Eve, but it never went any further than that. Drew wasn't sure he could trust the man from his past. ABC after a man approached Jason believing him to be Drew and claiming to be an old friend of his from Afghanistan. Both Jason and Drew were wary of the stranger, rightfully so, as it was later revealed that Hank was actually Shiloh, the leader of the Dawn of Day cult. But Drew was more focused on making sure that Oscar's final days of life were as happy as they could make them. How did Drew die? After Oscar's death. Drew worked through his grief only to find himself at the center of Shiloh's dastardly plot. The cult leader was desperate to know what happened to the stolen money from their time in Afghanistan and since Drew didn't remember anything about it, Shiloh swiped the flash drive with his memories and implanted them into Franco. This meant that Drew could figure out where the money was that Shiloh was after and found it in the car Oscar had left Cameron. Franco, as Drew, suggested the cash be returned, so Drew flew off to Afghanistan, but then went to track down Andre and get him to come back to Port Charles in the hopes of restoring Franco to his previous self. Unfortunately, while Andre made it back, Drew's plane was reported lost, as though it had simply vanished, thanks to arrangements made by Peter August, trying to cover his involvement in the memory swapping scheme. Will Drew return to GH? Drew may have been legally declared dead, but you know what they say, if there's no body, they're probably not really dead, heck, even when there is a body, sometimes they can still come back. And it looks as though the guy is on his way back to Port Charles, so stay tuned to see how his story continues. Love GH? Be sure to join our We Love General Hospital Facebook group to chat about all the latest storylines and juicy gossip. Add block test, why?